Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and today I'm going to show you how to use Filter Forge 6 to spice up your Daz Studio renders. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, some quick housekeeping. Thanks to everyone who left ideas for future videos. I've received a lot of requests. People have been leaving comments and sending me emails. So the list is very long right now. Uh, I'm going to need you to be patient with me as I go through that list and cover each topic. Don't let that stop you from submitting your ideas, though. You can do so in the comments section below. If your idea falls within, well, if your idea for a future video falls within my area of expertise, I will definitely cover it. So now on to today's topic, Filter Forge 6. Now, full disclosure, even though this video is not sponsored by Filter Forge, they did provide me with version 6 of the software so that I could demo it for all of you. Now, I'm not new to Filter Forge. I had purchased it and have been using it for years before the company had ever approached me. I think since 2012 when I first started doing experimenting with um, 3D comics. Uh, anyways, my point is I'm going to give you an honest opinion. I'm going to give you my honest opinion of the software in regards to how it fits into my own personal workflow. As you watch this, if you end up liking Filter Forge and feel it's software that you can use in your own artistic endeavors, I would ask that when you decide to purchase that you please use the affiliate link provided in the video description below or in the video card above. Uh, you don't pay anything extra for the software when you use the affiliate link. Again, you do not pay anything extra, and I make a small commission that goes towards keeping the lights on at this channel. So if you like the information that you're getting, you know, you can support by uh, using the affiliate links. So first and foremost, what is Filter Forge? Filter Forge is a plugin for Photoshop that allows you to add creative effects, aka filters, to your images over and above the standard filters that already come with Photoshop. I should add that it can also be used as a soft as a standalone software application and that you do have the ability to customize and create your own filters as well. Filter Forge comes in handy when you want to achieve a certain look that Photoshop's native filters can't do or are too difficult to achieve using their native filters. Um, I've run into that before. Photoshop is very powerful, but it can't do everything. So this basically extends the functionality and the creative potential of Photoshop. Basically what it comes down to, Filter Forge is a time saver. And for me personally, it's been an invaluable tool in my digital artist toolkit. So why do I use it? I started using Filter Forge because I was trying to achieve the comic book look for the images that I was rendering from Daz Studio. If you have been following the channel for any time, you know that uh, I don't do the typical hyper-realistic renders that uh, Daz Studio uh, is, is known for. I don't have anything against it. If you make hyper-realistic uh, artwork, that's, that's fine. Uh, it's just not what I do. Uh, I tried achieving that comic book look natively in Photoshop, and even though there are a ton of videos on YouTube and tutorials online, I couldn't find anything that matched the vision that I had in my head. So I, I needed to look for something else. I almost gave up when one day I did a Google search and came across Filter Forge and figured, uh, this looks like what I want to do, so let me try it out. I'm glad I went with my decision to purchase the software because it absolutely allowed me to create the exact look that I wanted. Mind you, it wasn't able to do everything on its own. I still had to use Filter Forge in conjunction with some of Photoshop's native filters, but all in all, it produced amazing results that looked better than anything that I'd seen out there. The results were so good, in fact, that I used it on nearly every single image that appears in my graphic novel, Black Sun, The Longest Night. Uh, with Filter Forge, I was able to achieve that balance between photorealism and a traditional comic book look, which is what I was going for. So I'm really happy with the results. If I had one complaint about the software, it would be the amount of time that it takes to apply a filter. Now, there always seems to be a trade-off with this. Uh, you look at Photoshop, Photoshop's filters are not as robust, but they're lightning fast. Whereas the filters in Filter Forge create uh, much better results, in my humble opinion. But the payoff is with time takes a lot longer to, to render that image. Now, obviously that wasn't a deal breaker for me. I just adjusted how I could work so that I can make the best use of my time. Typically, while I'm working on a scene in Daz Studio, I have Filter Forge running in the background, rendering effects to an image. Once that's done, I start rendering an image from Daz, 
well, from the scene that I was working on in Daz, and then start doing my post work in Photoshop. So it's just a process of switching back and forth between applications so that I'm always staying productive. And this is a process that I'm going to demonstrate in part two of this series. I'll walk you through applying a filter, making adjustments to a filter, and even Filter Forge's ability to create textures, textures that you can use on your 3D models in Daz. So stay tuned for all of that. In the meantime, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please visit blacksuncomics.com where you can download a free preview of my graphic novel, Black Sun, The Longest Night. If you like the information in this video, please click like and subscribe. Be sure to check out some of the other videos on this channel. And until next time, take care. Peace.